if I don't reward myself, it doesn't feel real. Yeah. And well, so I didn't withdraw for a year and a half, like forest profits, because I was like, well, I didn't need the money. And so then it became fake to me. And then I would make a lot of money. I'd lose a lot of money. It became completely fake and it didn't real and it wasn't reality. Let's be real. It's never, it's never in the Forex and the markets and everything. It's never your money until you withdraw it. Welcome to the Trader Society Podcast. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, what you want to hear. It's Saturday, so we're all uh, drinking a beer because Saturday is for the boys. Hey. And um, we got a very special guest. This is a good friend of ours that we've known now for a while. We were in business with a while back, and uh, he's been trading Forex and stuck with it. And now he's going to tell us a story a little bit. His name's Chad Propst. He's from Mississippi. And Chad, man, how you doing? Doing good, man. I'm happy to be here. So, I like it. I love it. Cool, man. I love what, it. What are you up to these days? Man, a little bit of everything, to be honest. We're traveling at the moment. Um, Montana, this guy calls me, you know, wants to hang out. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> We're somewhere. Cool. Yeah. We're somewhere. Somewhere. Not on a beach, thank God. <laughs> you hate the beach? Oh, God, dude. What? Oh, no. It's the worst. Oh, man. How could you so what are you, what are you doing <clears throat> business-wise right now? What is, what is your what is your main focus? My is? main focus right now is kind of like um, I've been doing the credit card processing a lot lately. You know, really focusing on that, honing in. We've locked in I think four or five more clients the past couple weeks, um, and obviously real estate. You know, but um, I've been doing a lot of trading, a lot of trading here lately. It's pretty much my mornings. How's it going for you? It's going well, man. I had my biggest week uh, last week. No, I'm a little bit of a loss yesterday, but you know, it's part of the game, right? It's part of it. It's you part might, of it. You mind sharing your week from last week? Uh, 72. 72,000 yep. in a week. Yep. 72 yep. bucks. And what was it? 72 <laughs> cents? <laughs> 72 <laughs> cents? Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, good, yeah. that's good. Bro, cool. congratulations. Yeah, man. that's, that's amazing, fucking man. epic. That's a beautiful and, week, bro. Yeah, and you yeah. said you had a loss. What was your loss? 8,800 yesterday. Uh, UJ. UJ. Yeah, yeah. You were buying with you the were trend. Buying. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Should have hopped on the live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and at that out. note, go ahead and tra- subscribe to tradersociety.com uh, yeah. because we would have told you to sell you, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that. I feel like we talked about it. But yeah, I just did the exact opposite. So. I mean, well, I mean, it works for you, though, because if you made 72000 and then you lost eight grand, like you're yeah. so, so that was 72000 uh after or before the loss? That was before the loss. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that was my biggest week by far. That's amazing. By far. That's amazing. And and you're in many different things. Like you Yeah, yeah. Like like Forex is not my main avenue, but it has um definitely changed my perspective on things, right? Like like you look at the lifestyle that a lot of these traders live, a lot of these, you know, these big traders are living and and just in general, man, it's it's motivating, you know, to yeah. uh to be around these guys and kind of see what they're doing. And I mean uh, just last week, I spoke with a, a really young trader. He's like 21 years old. Absolutely killing it, man. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's motivating. You know, I'm 35. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm all about like old school business, you know. But like you see a lot of these guys nowadays, they're killing it online, man, in a lot of different ways. And Forex is just one of those ways. So you know? let, let me ask you. So now you're 35. You've, you've been extremely successful. And, and I feel like you have your fingers and all kind of stuff <laughs> since I've known you, right? Yeah, yeah. But now that you're trading and you're doing well and you have all these other businesses, what does it mean to you as far as like reaching that success or that goal? Like, what do you want? Because you said you see all these other people in this Forex industry. Like, what what does it mean to you? Forex, like specifically? No, just in general. It's like a, to be quite honest with you, man, it's like a safety cushion, right? Like, you know, like we're from Mississippi. Like I came from absolutely nothing. Right. You know, so... For me, it's just like, it's not about the money for me. It's not about the success. It's not about the, you know, the limelight being in the spotlight. It's none of that, man. It's about, mm-hmm. you know, if, if shit hits the fan, like my family's good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's my main focus. That man. should be every man's goal. It's absolutely. No over person. number one, yeah. over everything. Yeah. So, if you're a man, that's what you need to You want to know on. what's motivating to me is the fact that you're building these businesses outside of that. And now you can, like you got real estate, you got that uh cleaning business yep, yep. you have a credit card processing business right yep. like that to me is like so cool that you're actually building stuff like 
outside of that and you have like your wife that's killing it with you oh dude how much does that help you uh, 99.9 percent no no oh so we asked. should be interviewing her you yeah yeah <laughs> basically she should be sitting yeah. here as well <laughs> i mean uh, you know like like something i, I think this comes with age you know because this is one thing i do see um mm -hmm. in the industry like forex traders a lot of the younger guys they have you know a lot of them rely solely on trading it's it's one source of income mm -hmm. you know now they're very good at what they do don't get me wrong but like they have one source of income, you know, they're relying on trading, you know, eventually they're branching into signals, things like that, which is great. But you have to have multiple streams of income. A little right? more yeah. solidified. Yeah. Right. So it kind of goes back to what I was saying. Like one thing falls off, two things falls off. I have five other things to rely on. Right. You know? And I'm going to work on getting right. the other two back up. And you going. never know when those losses will hit. Dude. But, yeah, but did what? Well, but you can also say that you focused on one business first, right? And then you built that up and then you went to another. Yep. Built that up and then you have a team helping you with other businesses too. So it's like your main thing was like you didn't start in Forex, but you, now you're allowing Forex to complement your life. So I, I want to ask you something, right? Because this this kind of goes along with that. When it, what is your what does your day look like? You have all these businesses, you're trading, and I think that's what a lot of people want to know is like, okay, well, you're trading, and I'm putting all this time into the charts to learn and to trade and they're scalping. Like, what does your day look like to be able to manage multiple different businesses and trading? See, that's a very, like, tough question, man. So, like, for me, I use one strategy. I focus on one system, and the trades either hit or they don't. You know right. what I mean? So I get up in the morning, I spend about 30 to 45 minutes, I mark my charts up and I set alerts. They either hit or they don't, you know? Mm -hmm. And luckily here lately, I hired a manager to, to manage a lot of my, you know, businesses outside of my day to day. Smart. Yeah. So it, it really helps. But for a while there, man, it was fire drills every single morning. I Just mean, you know, it all. yeah, man. So like, but even now as an entrepreneur, you guys know, like, it's Saturday. Shit could hit the fan right now. Right. Yeah. And we'd have to stop what we're doing. We'd have to handle right. it. You know, mm -hmm. and that's just part of being in business. It, it's all. our job to react. It is. To anything. It's the same thing in the markets, man. Yep, I mean, exactly. Yep. And I love that. I love that. So you're at the point now where you, you have passive income and you're, you're, you're making money in real estate. You have, I mean, we have Airbnbs together. We have uh, fix and flips together. I know we have a lot of, of other companies together as well. But like, what what is it that about forex besides the people in the industry of forex what is it about forex that inspires you what why why forex i think it's because out of every business avenue that i've done i, I feel like forex is the most rewarding in the aspect of it's hard as hell to learn right mm -hmm. like like it, it's another language yeah it is man and i wouldn't even say it's even harder to it, it's hard to learn but it's even harder to get good at right like mm -hmm. i lost a I wouldn't say ridiculous, but a, a decent bit of money when I first started. You know, I started out, I feel like everybody else. I was kind of like newbie gains, right? I was killing it, man. Like I was, I was scalping US 30. I was swinging from <laughs> trees. Yep. You know, I called you that day and I was like, bro, this fucking sucks. Like, you yep. know, I remember, dude, like it was yesterday. I, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was up like 10 grand, nine or 10 grand for the day. Mm -hmm. I was about to be done. And, I committed one of the biggest mistakes in trading. Like I, I did not use a stop loss oh, no. on US 30 oh, no. of all things. Right. I've done it. So I remember oh, no. I was stacked pretty heavy and some news article came out and within seconds I was down like 20 grand like oh, no. that, you know, it's not a ton of money, but it was way more than I wanted to lose. It kicked me right. in the ass. You know what I'm saying? It was a it'll, wake up. Yeah. Call it'll, sure. it'll, it'll humble you. You know, I bit. got, I got cocky for a minute there and I was like, shit, this is nothing to it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, it's not about, it's not about your strategy. It's not about the setup. It's about your risk management. Absolutely. Yep. No, I, I, and I'm, I'm going to add in on that. Like that alone, because I've taken some ridiculous losses, like, yep, yep. you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 You and I have day. talked about that in the past, yeah. Like yeah, and so I had to change my outlook on it, and that's why I think it's awesome what you're doing, but, like, letting this complement my life. If I make an extra five to seven, three, two, if I make $200, I don't care. Like It's a it, come up. It, it's a come up, and, and this should not, this should be something that you try to master, but this shouldn't be something, in my opinion— that you only do. Yep, yep. Yeah, no. And then, you know, that, like I said a minute ago, that's, that's going to come with age. You right. know, the older you get, the more you realize, like, 
shit, nothing is concrete. You know what I'm saying? Oh. It can all be taken out from under you that's in a why, second. That's why I hate the term, like, oh, I have a residual income. Mm. It's like, you don't. You know, me and no one wife, really has 100% foolproof residual no, income. No, that means you got it, paid last month. <laughs> not next month. <laughs> it doesn't exist. And so... Man, I love that. So now you're you're traveling, you know, you're traveling the world. You're you're I mean, not the world, United States. You're traveling the United States. I've you know, traveled the world, but well, yeah, I, but right now you're currently traveling the United States and stuff. Yeah. And so is it has it gotten easier or or harder to yeah, trade? It's it's funny you ask, man. Like like for me, uh, you know, I was trading the same every day. I was getting up looking at the charts when I was at my house, you know, I had my office, I have a big monitor, I have the whole setup, right? And I just felt like it was getting monotonous. I was kind of getting bored with it, you know? So, like, I feel like when I got away and I kind of got a change of scenery, I feel like my trading, my business, everything kind of went to the next level, you yeah. know? Now, granted, I will say, like, my mom is watching our kids. You know, she watches them a couple weeks. You know, they just left, and they'll be back on Monday. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, obviously, when it's just me and my wife, stress levels down. Right. And kind of do what we want. You know, you're getting so, a mental, I get like it. a yeah. mental clarity. It is. Man. This is why I trade at night. Yeah, yeah dude, London right. session. That's like mm -hmm. where it's at. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I, you know, and I feel like stress level in business is, you've got to learn to manage stress. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's a hard thing to do. So. And is. Uh, what is like? How do you manage your stress? To be 100% with you, man, like I wasn't the best at it for a long time. You know what I mean? Um, but but now I think it's it's me time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like me time, uh, gym time. And like in all honesty, man, like we put the kids down around 7, 30, 8 o'clock. And a few of these. And a few of these. <laughs> so, you know, we, we put the kids down around 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Um, me and my wife spend some time together. And then obviously time with the boys, you know. Yeah. So, Always nice to have time with the is, boys. Absolutely. Saturdays for the boys. It's a, it's, a, it's a different kind of time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Uh, I know when we were down at the summit, we were kind of talking about, like, supercars and stuff like that and, like, how you could you could get those if you wanted, right? What is, like, why is the reason that you don't want to get stuff like that? So for me, man, like, and again, I keep saying this, I feel like it goes back to an age thing, right? Yeah. Like, for me, I don't like to... And he's gonna want to come across the table. On me. <laughs> I, don't, I know. I don't, I'm already. I'm like, all yeah, right, we're about to fight. Yeah, yeah, we're about I to think jab. your perspectives change, but I, I want to no, hear this. I, you know, it hasn't. It, it hasn't. I, I don't like to buy anything that I don't feel like makes me direct money. For sure. You know what I'm saying? If I make two hundred thousand dollars, the first thing I'm gonna go do is look for a real estate property. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is the first thing. I've got everything I need. I've got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar truck. I've got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar RV. I can leave for six months, seven months, eight months out of the year, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And th that, to me, is freedom. Yeah. Okay, but my perspective, and this is my argument ah, side is, comes. is that within two years, I bought two cars, yeah, yeah. and I'm selling them all right now, like currently, and I am making over three hundred thousand. dollars Yes, you yes, buy yes, low and but, you sell well, and high. The, the and is, so though, that is, is I'm still making them. that's that's almost as much money as most people make on real estate. Totally. But that would not normally to happen. We had COVID and why not? That doesn't. I, what does that have to do with anything? That is, is it would normally wouldn't happen, but it is happening. So the normality that you think or that most people think isn't happening right now. But no, so for sure, this is so sure. Do you think that if you bought a a supercar right now that in a couple years, you'd make yeah, money? Yeah, 100%. Years? Really? Mm, yes. Maybe, maybe Why? Not. Because they're going well, all electric. So when you have a gas car... I guess it's kind of been the same. So when realm. you have a gas car but right now... I feel like it's more the, risky to buy that right this now. This is the though. biggest point, you're, though. You're paying yeah. over, you're risk. Risk. You're paying but, over but, market value. Look, look, right? But you also have real estate as the highest it's ever been. Same look, thing in real no, estate. No, I know. I agree. And so it's like kind of like... I think this is where people get stuck, though, is the fact that like, oh, gosh, the market's so high... Do I want to buy right now? It could. Prices will come but let's down. not also mention, let's not also forget how much money and how many connections did me owning those cars oh, make Oh, no, me. I think it's great. So even, if I, right. broke, I it's even great. if I broke right. even on the cars, right. but I did, and I made $300,000 on two cars in a year and a half. You're right. But the connections that it made me have in those cars is probably is worth okay. way I, more. I get it, but, but this is the thing. You have to realize, and I'm going to speak from my own personal experience on this. Why are you buying them in the first place? Most people that are buying those, they're not buying them to make money. 
like at least in the this for, at least in the forex industry. Yeah. And I know when I first got into this, it was like, oh my god, I gotta get a McLaren. I gotta get a Lamborghini. You dude, know, I, thought, I, I, I bought I the, the same thing. I dude, bought the like, Mercedes, and I fell for it. And I realized, and I'm speaking like to everyone as real as possible, and to you guys, like I was miserable with myself. Mm -hmm. So I, I was seeking trying to find something, something to give myself yeah. validation, to be proud of myself. And since then I've been able to be like, you know what? That's, that's the last thing I would buy right now. And if you yeah. buy it, that's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, but, but for me personally, that is no longer actually even an option. I don't care mm -hmm. if I made $10 million tomorrow. I wouldn't do it. You know, here, here's... I would, but... You know, <laughs> uh, no, you know, but, but there's, that just shows you there's no right or wrong. Yeah, there's no, no right or wrong. No, no. There's no right Anthony or wrong. Anthony made this statement a minute ago. He said, he said the network and connections you build... But that, here, here's where it's at. Yes. What do you think the networks and, and, and connections you're going to build when, you, when people find out you own 42 short-term Airbnbs and rentals? So and, I, agree with, I agree with that, but how much harder is it to prove that than you pulling up in a pista? That's not hard at all. It's very. It's a lot harder. You have to have a conversation. I pull up in a piece to uh, and have, yeah, and have yeah. thirty people talking to me. Yeah. I sure. pull up in a Bugatti and I have five hundred okay. people talking to but me. But on the flip side of that, you've got to look at where real estate. It's going to make you appreciation. It's going to build your connections, and it's going to make insane cash flow. I mean, I, I I agree. But know. I'm 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 I mean I no I don't think there's any wrong there, on this. There's no I right either. Wrong. Personally, no, 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 no. but all I can say is that I put a, I put a hundred and eighty thousand dollars down. And in a year and a half, I made three hundred thousand. I'm gonna tell you right now, thousand dollars down. Look, look. To you, me, that's one of the best investments I've ever made. Look, mm. you bought it for the connections. I was wanting it for self validation, and that's yeah. the difference. Sure. Yeah, I would. And that's that's my I, point. agreed. And that, you should never buy like you should never buy a sports car. You should never buy an anxiety. You should never no. buy anything for someone else or for mm. some that's, validation. That's well, my point. And at the you end buy of the day, it for yourself. Let's be honest. These cars at, at the level that he has right. is a form of real estate in a sense. I right? guess you're 100%. building appreciation, you're building the network, you're building the connections. Are you cash flowing? Maybe Terrible. you know what I mean, but it is a form of real estate, right? You know what I'm saying? It's like kind of like okay, I'm buying this piece of property here and they're going to build a commercial building on it for sure. Is that real estate? Absolutely, you but are you making? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. So I mean, I get your side. Of you know what? Point. Fuck it. Do I agree the with fuck your you side. Want. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's where I'm at. It's just like, do whatever the fuck you want, whatever makes you happy. You know what I mean? If, if you want a fucking Ducati bike, go fucking buy it. If you oh, want yeah, a, like, like at the end of the day, like, no, like, but understand that's like the, why you're doing it. Exactly. That's, that's and that's the biggest I agree problem with you, right now. And I disagree with myself. Yeah. That's yeah, my yeah, point. Sure. I, I guess for me, like, and I've made posts about this on Instagram. Like, I, I think that, um, the definition for freedom for me is, like I said a minute ago, the ability to be able to walk away six, seven months. I, I mean, I moved into my house, and in a week, I, mm -hmm. I left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and I feel like that's the ability, like, that. that's freedom. You know what I mean? For me, it's not the cars. It's not this. It's not and, that. And if you buy the car and you can't do that, then you shouldn't buy that's it. That's right. That's yeah. exactly right. Yep. And that's also why I'm getting rid of my cars right now. I can't enjoy them. Yeah, and we'll yeah. talk about that. One another. That's another. <laughs> yeah, that's another, that's another you, can, you can always, you can always but, buy another one later. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Dude, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys. Like for me, like I have my eyes on a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Like that's that's yeah. the car that I want, and that's the car that I'm going to get. Yeah. It's just I I don't I can't justify. You know I think we looked at one the other day. Was it almost half a million? I can't justify going and buying a half a million dollar car or going and buying a piece of real estate, a property that's going to make me, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in the slow season a month. Right. You know what I'm saying? And appreciation on top of that. As right? Mr. Cubanks would say, fuck it, no attachments. And at the same time, I agree with you. You're right on the cash flow aspect. But how, for me, it's like, what have you done to truly for yourself feel like you've rewarded yourself for what you've accomplished over the last year and a half. And this is not just, this is, I'm talking about like forks late. You see what I'm saying though? It's yeah. like, it's like you have to reward yourself because what I've learned over my time is that if I don't reward myself, it doesn't feel real. Yeah. And well, so I didn't withdraw for a year and a half, like forex profits because I was like, well, I didn't need the money. And so then it became fake to me. And then I would make a lot of money. I'd lose a lot of money. It became completely fake and it didn't real. And it wasn't reality. Let's be real. It's never, it's never, 
in the forex and the markets and everything, it's never your money until you withdraw it. Yeah, that shit could be gone. Exactly. Tomorrow. So, but but what I'm trying to say is, is you haven't rewarded yourself for what you've accomplished, and so no matter what, like it buying is buying a Rolls Royce oh, the smartest the investment. No, it's not the smartest investment. But how would it make you feel, and how much more motivated would you be to make more money, knowing that tomorrow you're driving a Rolls Royce? So okay, so for me, you said that that you know you never really rewarded yourself. You know, I go back to my old career, you know, just over 10 years, I, I, I gave up my freedom for everybody else's. No question about it. So now it's my turn. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's my reward. Like 100%. I have my freedom. I have my my ability to, to travel, to Your do time. things. Yeah. I have the ability to look at something, don't pick up the price tag, don't care, and I'm going to buy it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That to me is my reward. You know, and the same thing for my wife. She walks in a store, doesn't she like see something she wants, she leaves with it. And that's why yeah, she told she told us to leave agree. yesterday when we went and she was like, Well, I'm buying these boots. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, no, no. You, know you, you might have had a heart attack. I, I would have. You know, I'm cheap. <laughs> I'm very frugal. He'll you know drive ten mean? miles to save one penny I a gallon. <laughs> I, I will. I mean, if anybody's gonna bitch about gas prices, it's me. Uh, <laughs> you know? I love it. No, I agree with I think that is I think that's the true definition of freedom and I mean, dude, you're fucking doing it. So like, that's like, but I, I, but I just, I truly believe that you should reward yourself. And you know, dude, I told go you, go buy like, your Rolex. I, you know, I, go buy that. Go oof. buy this. Do do that for yourself because you buy a Rolex today. What? Oh, there, <laughs> but there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a point where you and what's like what scares me and you know I've learned a lot from you and like I'm, Same, I'm, I'm this is my one teaching moment to you that I think I might ever have in life. I don't, um, I don't know about all that. <laughs> but, we had some pretty heart to hearts last night. <laughs> but I do think that if you re don't reward yourself, you're going to get burnt out because you're not finding a benefit in it. And so for me, it's like, like there has to be a point to where you say, fuck it. I earn this. I'm going to do it even though it's not smart. And that's what I do not like about people. Like, like most real estate people, I do not like about that because like, why would I buy a car when I can do this? Yeah. Because mm. you deserve it. You earned it. You went out there. Like you this, changed I, your fucking life. This I man has a $150,000 truck and a $150,000 RV. I think that's a, a reward. That's yeah, but a reward it, but, to but me. He, but he wants a Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah. He'll get that. He and, wants a Rolex. It, and he mean? can get that. But like you, you have to have those moments so I, that you do that to yourself, you did that because that's what you're used to. Like, you bought the I like truck. I the ability to. to be able to be like, you know what, I can buy that, but no, I'm good. That's me. Do you know, and, and, and I agree and, with and that. For a minute there, but, I got to a point. I mean, you can ask my wife. Like we looked at every every single Lamborghini in the city of Miami, like every single one. I sat in them all, new, used. Um, what, are, what is it when you order them and you're like waiting for it to come in? I spoke to them about that the whole nine, man. And I just got to a point. I was like, what am I doing? Like, you know, the, why am I buying this? And I couldn't mm. answer that question. Yeah. You know well, I'm, I'm not saying, saying make exactly. a 300. I'm not yeah. saying make a $300,000 purchase on spontaneously because you deserve it. I'm saying go buy yourself a twenty thousand dollar watch. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference. Reward well, yourself. If you want that. It, it I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm want. not going to lie. I've, Hoping that this don't explode. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I've been looking at, at Rolexes for quite some time now. I don't know shit about them. Well, well let me ask you, why do you want it? <laughs> you know, I, I like a nice watch. I've gotten to a point, he always says, like, since he's met me, I became way more bougie. And I absolutely have. <laughs> since you know, I've known you, you, you have. know, I live in Naples, Florida. Like, it's it's nearly impossible. First day I me. met you, I don't think you were wearing a shirt. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm definitely not a, a wife beater. Yeah, yeah. always. Well, that's yeah. still going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I have yeah. a couple of these t shirts. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, you know, like, I'm, I'm at a point now where, like, I like to to take care of myself. I like yeah. to to look a certain way, um, and I'm willing to spend that money. You know, I'm 35 years old. I feel like I'm in the the best shape of my life, minus a few pounds. I've been on vacation, but it's all good. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, that's the way that I reward myself. I like to get away. I like to travel. I like to disconnect. And I think that's the the toughest part as being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You know, you you've got to learn how to disconnect. I, how to turn that switch off. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And that's hard. It really it's is. It's very hard. It's it's very Cause hard. Because let's ever, get real. We we love this shit. Right. This yeah. is what we live for. Like it's Definitely. it's Saturday and like like we're here shooting the shit. Like 
Like, like we nerf wars. Yeah, this doesn't feel drums. like this doesn't feel like work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's and, what we live for. And that's gonna. You know? This is my point of all of this, which I'm glad that you just said that. Is between business, between trading. The point is, is if everything went a, went away tomorrow, the last thing we would do was be get a job, and that means. Fuck that, that we appreciate our time more than the things. Yep. So if it means that I'm not going to buy this or that or whatever to get others validation, it means I don't care because I appreciate my time more. And I love that you said that because at the end of the day, like that's what I've learned through all of this is my time Dude. is precious. You know, I feel like if, if I've learned that from anybody, it's from Anthony. He gets on my ass all the time. I mean, for probably two years now, he's like, you need to hire an assistant. You need to do this. Like, why are you answering these calls? Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And as of recent, I, I took care of that problem. You know, I hired a manager. Do I like it? Hell no. It scares the hell out of me. Because <laughs> you still got to manage him. You, you, you know, absolutely. But but I'm I'm at a point where, like, Aaron and I can't do it. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my time, like like you just said, what what is your time worth? Right. He said something the other day. What was it? I, I need an oil change on my truck. I always do it myself. Mm -hmm. It's like 250 bucks to get it done. And he's like, that's not even worth your fucking time. Like, why, why would you, Yes. you know what I'm saying? Why and, would you spend three hours changing your own oil? Well, you, is, is you like, like my point was, it was that like, is how much do you make in three hours? Oh, dude, it's like not even questionable. It's like, exactly. You know, it, it, it I don't know, man. Like, I guess it's the principle of it. I haven't, I, I guess that's something I, old school, man. I am, dude. I'm old school. Like Which it, is man. a lot like of, no, it it's ways. awesome and I love it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, if you're going to do it late at night, like that's cool, but it's like, thing, but if you're doing it, it as, do if you're it. doing I mean, it at seven in the morning, when you have, when you're looking at the charts and you're trading and you're looking at this and you look at that, it's like, you're just sitting back and you're like, right. why am I changing my oil to right. save? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Right. So if you do it, when, to let's save let's money, be honest. Let's be honest. When you go and buy the filter, when you go and buy the oil, you what's don't your time spend. Worth? What's your time worth? Exactly, and you don't spend a hundred bucks on all the other shit that you have to do. So therefore, the oil change is actually costing you probably twelve hundred dollars. Well, you know, I've got to the point, dude, where I like every time that I try to. Okay, let's think. We just hired somebody to do our, our landscape, our yard for us, all those things, right? You know, I used to do all of that shit. It'd be Saturday morning, take me four hours, you know. I think that stuff keeps that. you humble, man. It does, dude. It does. But, like, I got to a point where I'm asking myself, is this making me money? And if the answer is no, I'm not doing it. So, let you me know what I'm saying? Let me ask you then, what's your goal with Forex now that you're making money from Forex? You know, I, I think it's I think it's like everybody kind of starts out with forex, right? Like I, I think it would be like a supplement on income, you know, a hobby, yeah, something that I enjoy doing. Because, like I said, I, I feel like it is single handedly the hardest thing that I've ever tried to teach myself. I haven't taken one single course, you mm -hmm. know, YouTube University, all the way. You should yeah. definitely you know? take Trader Society course. Yeah, that's and I'm what just I gonna hear. let you let you know that's coming out soon. That's but, okay, keep 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 going. I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like friends with all you goons. Like, that just, it'd be kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? No, but you know, I, seventy-two grand last week. I'll buy your course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so 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 okay. So back to that. So like, it's challenging to you. And you're a challenging person. So like what like what's that goal? What's next? Like of Forex for you? You know, I, I think it comes to a point for me where it's like I, I know it's supplemental income. I, I know that I don't have to take that withdrawal. I don't have to take the money. But like I guess it goes back to the car conversation. It's almost like self validation, right? Like like I set out to do something. Um, I want to get good at it. You know, and it's hard to hang out with you, you clowns, and 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 not be good at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I've became really good friends with all of you. You're like family to me. You know, and being around Q, all the all all you boys, man. Like, it's like you either nut up or shut up. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. So, do Facts. me a favor. If you want to get good at it, withdraw twenty grand Monday. Yeah. Or Today, whenever, whenever you can do it. Seriously, no. seriously, Why do is it. That? Because it makes it real. It makes and then it buy real. That Rolex. It's the same. It's you the can't same buy thing. Rolex or twenty Gs. Yeah, yeah, you can. can. It's the same thing that I was telling you early. Because like I didn't withdraw for a year and a half, and so there before it became not real to me because I had so many other businesses, so many other companies making money. I was like, oh, I don't need to withdraw money. And then all of a sudden, when it became not real to me, I lost a shit ton of money. Mm. 
because I wasn't thinking about it as being real. And the biggest thing that I teach people is if you make $50, withdraw five. Sure. If you make $50, withdraw 25. Pull something out so it feels tangible. So it feels tangible. So I agree with him. Yes. I challenge you to the same thing. That's what changed my Trader trading. Trader society yeah. right now challenges you to start withdrawing weekly. Shit, I might have checked because, it out then, right? Because <laughs> technically, you are profitable. You're making a shit ton of money. But also, in the same time, you're not. Because it's not hitting your nothing. bank account. Because you haven't made anything. You know, and, and my wife gets on me about this all the time. She's like, you need to pull your money out. You need this. Like, you know, so it's like, I, I do get the point, right? But like when I look in my account, I'm like, damn, like, you know, because let's be honest. And I've heard you say this several times on on YouTube videos. You can't do shit with a $2,000 account. You know what I'm saying? It's like one step forward, two steps back, no matter what you do. Look, I I, I, uh, interview people all the time that, hey, I should have withdrew my or I should have cashed out my top tier profits or whatever. Because it's gone now. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and then then they're like, oh, I, I wanted to build it to 120. I wanted to build to 150. There's levels to then, it, though, bro. I'm telling you. There is. Withdrawal. And with that being said, you know? go ahead and check out, check out Top Tier Trader as well. Yes. Go for it. But I no, I, seriously, I challenge you. Like That's what that's my challenge. That's what Trader Society challenges you to do. Yep. Start withdrawing weekly or monthly, just a little bit of your profits because Start buy yourself 20. a coffee. Buy yourself a damn beer. I've been ordering coffee for the past week since I've been at your house. I know. <laughs> buy, yeah, he has. He's like, I'm not bougie at all. And I wake up at 6 a.m. and there's a fucking Starbucks bag <laughs> sitting out on my door. It. He's like, I'm going to move into the middle of the mountains and live off a of solar and a well. <laughs> Fuck but you. he's been here three days and there's fucking Starbucks and cake pops sitting on my fucking door. Cake Shoot, you might have a little bit. to if you don't withdraw. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. What I was saying. $30 but, for coffee right now. <laughs> But Man. seriously, withdraw, make it real to you, and like you're killing it, you're crushing it in life. But the only advice that I think I can really give you is make it real to yourself because it's not real to you right now. No, it's you, not. No. It, it's not, and that's not good. Pay some and bills. I, and I'm speaking from experience. That's what, I was gonna say. what was that? Pay, Pay some, some bills, bills with it. Sure. Exactly. Yeah, like I've, I'm speaking from experience. Like, like it, I crushed it. I killed it for a while, a long time, and then I stopped, and then. It put, I mean, how long was I out? Y'all know I was in a funk for a long fucking time yeah, you because didn't take a trade for a minute because I it wasn't real to me. And, and you so been out now, of it for a long time too. And so remember. now that it's Just, finally yeah. like yeah. sometimes it's in, needed though. That, it is, that break it is, is needed, man. Yeah. You don't it have is. to do this every, every Monday through Friday. No, yeah, no. you don't. And no. let's be honest, this shit is stressful, dude. Like, dude, I, I'd rather you know, not I, be I watched in a trade. I watched the video. <laughs> yeah, I, wa- I watched the video. I'd rather not be in a trade. I'm right? telling you, dude. I watched the video you guys made. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like, it was talking about like how how people act when they're in drawdown. Yeah. You know yes, what I'm yes. like, That shit was hilarious. Oh. Was it our reel on Instagram? Yeah, yeah you have Conrad running around yelling. Yeah, dude. And him sitting and then the, the what was the what was the mentor <laughs> the mentor video? You had Conrad. What in did it? I say? Oh. You know, get. Oh, we've done man. so many now. That was, we've that done some funny one. videos. That was where I was at, dude. Like I used to be the guy, especially when I was <laughs> What's like, the procedure? when I was scalping. Like I used to be the guy that was like, okay, I'm gonna get in a trade every ten seconds. I'm gonna check, see what it's doing. You know what I'm saying? And since then, the warrior. What's that? Yeah, the wor- that's the me, dude. Like, like, like my phone would be, always be dead. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at a point where. I've shifted my mindset to more of like a swing trading kind of aspect, you know, like, For sure. you know, I'm big on the the weekly, you know, and I take my entries on the lower. So like, if I'm looking at the weekly, my entry is either going to be on the daily or the four hour, For you sure. know, um, occasionally I'll do a two hour setup, 15 mm-hmm. minute entry occasionally, but I've learned, man, a, a lot of those setups just for my specific strategy. And I have a very weird strategy, but for, for my specific setups, like the, Looking forward to the course. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Real quick, before we end this podcast, spotlight. I have two questions for you. First one, you have two minutes to answer, one minute to answer, whatever it may be. What is your strategy? Yes. That camera right there, front and center. Tell them what is your strategy. All right. So, and he's about to spit some real facts and real knowledge. And this is how he made seventy two thousand dollars last week. Actually, just kidding. That camera's still left. <laughs> that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. That one to the left. Okay. So I've recently, (laughs) like a a lot of, a lot of people think you have to, to complicate trading, right? So for me, it's been more about, I started out, I was using a bunch of indicators. I was using this, using that indicator trading, right? So like for me, 
I tried my best to simplify that. So I started using, I've been using Hike and Ashi candles literally since the first time I started trading about a year now. So it's like, I feel like that, that for me, simplifying the trading. So like for me, the 50 EMA Hike and Ashi candles, I wait for a rejection off the 50. Let's just say four hour, right? Four hour time frame. I wait for a rejection Hike and Ashi candle on the 50. It has to touch the 50 EMA, right? I drop down to the one hour. I wait for the 50 EMA break in whatever direction the four hours in. I take the trade based off structure. Okay. That's literally all I do. Nice. And, and, and with the trend, obviously. With the trend. Yeah, 50, 50 EMA is your bias. It's a beautiful, cool. uh, yeah. it's a beautiful e it, EMA. It's hidden divergence. Yeah, is all, yeah. And I, I was telling him the other day, I was like, you don't realize, like, you're just trading hidden divergence. You've just made it simplified because you're using Heikinashi which also doesn't print the the red, blue, red, blue, red, right. blue. It only prints blue, Follows red. The trend. It, exactly. So he took out that color coordination of it and I had he simplified to. it. I had to because, you know, but then, the, but then the like, other day, though, you know, I mean, like, I love it that you still... <laughs> I know where you're going with that one. <laughs> We're from Mississippi. I, I, Keep it simple, stupid. Because let's be honest, <laughs> stupid is our middle name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so Truth. But I, I also agree with you. But the other day we were sitting there teaching. You were like, man, like, like I would buy this right now. And I was like, watch this. It's going to break this. It's going to sell and everything like that. And that was the moment where you looked at me and you were like, damn. Like, I stayed up till four in the morning back testing what he showed me. <laughs> and Even I was I like, back test what he showed you. But I was I, like, I've got to figure this shit and out. And I was After like, you see it so many times, you just know. It's, it's from years of experience. And so what you're doing is working. But the thing is, is that what we teach is we're teaching people how to play the odds of the game. Sure. All you're it's doing is you're taking the odds and probability. You made it simple yep. and you literally said, off the 50, you fucking buy. Yep. Yep. And they or sell like whatever the trend is. You buy or sell off of that, and eight out of ten times you're gonna be right. Know how to cut your losses. Yeah. And, trading and, is that really that simple? If you got, if you this. guys like, if you guys check my stories on Instagram, you're gonna see that like, you don't have the perfect entry. Well, I don't. And there, is there a perfect entry? No. You know, Six I, months ago, I've heard you say it many times. That's right. Mm -hmm. And dude, I use so like you've got the fifty EMA, but I, if you look on my stories, there, there's this like band that you see, right? And it's literally the 50 EMA, mm -hmm. okay? But it's a buffer system. So, mm -hmm. like, to help me with identifying, like, false breakouts. Because let's right. be honest, you got fake outs all the time in the mm -hmm. markets, right? So, like... That's what I trade. Yeah, exactly. So, like, for me, I don't trade reversals. I don't do anything. I'm a trend trader. Like, he he sent me a message the other day. He's like, fucking trend trade. And I was like, well, shit. <laughs> money, right? And if it works, it yeah. works. Yeah, so, so, you know, like, for me, unless price breaks out of that band... I don't take the trade. Gotcha. You know, it's not it's not the little middle EMA, the 50 EMA, it's the entire band, and it's a buffer system yeah. for me. Gotcha. Got to break out of the band. So, so yeah, I was going to say. I want to say, what's your one tip of advice? Give them in that camera right there again. What's your one tip of advice? 10 seconds. <laughs> Risk management, don't over trade. I love that. I love, I love it. that. I love it. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Well, that concludes this podcast of Trader Society. Remember to follow all of us on Instagram. In on uh excuse me on Instagram uh, we got Chad here again thank you for coming on yeah man happy to be what's knowledge. your Instagram share your Instagram it, it's gonna be it's gonna be underscore Chad Probst underscore awesome there's a P in front of that S huh yeah it's just you yeah. know simple stupid <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll link it <laughs> we'll, we'll drop it. it also follow him Derek, Derek underscore Vandy the man the myth over underscore here. Grant Hardy I'm underscore Anthony's world underscore as well and also make sure you're Following Trader Society official. Yes. 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 And uh, remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, and we're going to see you guys next time. And remember, there's merch coming soon. Brrr.